Wow, and we're back. Uh, I have with me the Honorable Mayor of Irvington Township, uh, Mayor Wayne Smith, who has been doing a wonderful job in the city of Irvington, and we're just so excited to see him here again this year. He comes as many years as he can. This is not his first year. And, and so I just would like to say, Mr. Mayor, what do you think of this event this year? Well, the parents to determine uh, uh, to achieve network led by Darlene Reeves has been doing a number of things for children with a, with a particular focus on special needs children. And we are, so we're delighted to use a government building because a lot of people don't know this is a township building that we open up for these kinds of community programs. So in this holiday season, um, many people have come out of uh, Hanukkah and Christmas and we're celebrating Kwanzaa which is a cultural holiday which was founded by Milana Karanga Absolutely. and any any ethnic group can celebrate it but it was focused on kind of African traditions and the African American community so we're celebrating but this has turned into a resource day oh. because if you look at the principle of Kwanzaa it talks about service and cooperative economics and so today uh, families who may be struggling are getting coats and clothes and they get a free meal and uh, C.C. Strickland is promoting literacy. So all the important things around Kwanzaa are being displayed here. And uh, so I'm just really excited how this event has grown. It looks like it has outgrown the building. So um, next year, God willing, we may have to move it to town hall so we have a little bit more space and a little bit more room. And uh, so I'm just excited. I mean, it's, it's really good stuff. I've seen the event grow from a, kind of like a handful of people to like it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And children are benefiting greatly. And uh, Minister Ellis, I want to thank you because I want to uh, commend you for your work that you're doing with Enough is Enough Coalition. And as we come out of what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, your work becomes even more critical because you've been doing fighting that war for many, many years, having been... Uh, uh, challenged by the same issue yourself Absolutely. and turning tragedy into triumph and taking victimization into victory to, to do something about what's happening in communities across America but for us in Essex County in particular so I want to salute you and, and Herb Glenn with We Care Media for keeping the attention alive about critical community issues and so in light of what happened in Newtown with our children this event becomes critically more important as we try to promote and uplift our children Absolutely. Uh, even I look around and there's several families here, plenty of families yeah, here. Uh, and I can think back weeks ago when Sandy hit and the oh, same man. type of situation where families were coming together. And then I come here today and I see the coats, the books, the, the food, the gifts that's being shared mm -hmm. today uh, in Irvington. I've seen you bring some stuff oh, in today. Absolutely. We, um, we're winding down. We had a wonderful Toys for Tots drive for the Christmas holiday. Wow. And uh, we had so many toys, we still had some left. Wow. So we figured we'd save some for the Kwanzaa event and make sure that the extra toys go to these children who may not have registered with the Irvington Family Development Center. So my wife and I brought those over. And uh, so we just, you know, this is it's, it's great. So families will leave here with a whole host of things for their young people to do and we're really pleased with that. Darlene has, as I said, has grown this into a tremendous, tremendous wow. event. She's outgrown the space. Absolutely. And, and I want to say we're winding down 2012 and we're going into 2013. Uh, what do you see for the future of Irvington? Uh, for 2013, you yeah, being still have, being the mayor. Yeah, listen, we have uh, some tremendous uh, development projects that will kick off in uh, 2013. A new Walgreens will be to get developed on Springfield Avenue. We're still filling up the Valley Fair, so we hope to have that open by uh, mid-2013. Um, you know, and we have uh, uh, the hospital project will get unveiled in 2013. So, you know, despite the economies and, and bad news about the economy, there's still some bright lights that are yet to emerge that will mean jobs and employment 
and development for the city. We mean tax rateables for the city. And then we're looking to do what we can to extend ourselves to families and young people and a whole host of other areas. So you're looking at 2013 to carry on the spirit that we're seeing absolutely, today. Absolutely, absolutely. We, at the close of 2012, we had some really challenging news. As you said, Hurricane Sandy, you, you, you look at what happened in Newtown, Connecticut, and you look at what's happening in Essex County locally, right yep. next door to us. Yep. So we've had, some, uh, we've had some difficulties, but that's just for the moment. Because as we go into a new year, we have another 365 days to make the b things better in our neighborhoods, and that's what we'll be de dedicating to 2013. And in closing, and, and, I, and I know I would like to thank you, Herb Glenn truly would like to thank you for your time that you're giving us. You know, you could be anywhere else today uh, in this holiday season, but you come to spend it right here with your community. You come to spend it right here with your constituents. You come to spend it right here with your people. Uh, give us something encouraging uh, to go in the 2013, with well, Mr. Mayor. I think that there, there has to be a rededication to family and the rebirth of community spirit. We don't have all the resources, but we do have each other. So I think it, whether it's through your block association, your neighborhood association, I'm encouraging everyone to get involved right where you live. Wow, you heard that from the mayor of Irvington, Mayor Wayne Smith. He says, get involved right where you live. Mr. Mayor, I would like to thank you. You're doing a wonderful job. and. Uh, just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Ellison. Good to see you as always. Have a happy new year. Thank you.